my living. Well, I started to pay my rent uh-huh. with skate lessons. Yes. And, Indeed. you know, of course they're more structured and all that. But what I found is, number one, I have, I have time for that anymore. Number two, it, the key to skating is practice. Yes. You can take all the lessons in the world, and if you don't practice, you're going to be just as good as you was when you first took the lesson. Absolutely. So I, I armed them with the tools to go and practice. Absolutely. And, you know, call me later. Yeah, that one. Fantastic, fantastic. So I just found out very recently that last night uh, you are featured in a very new um, art exhibit at the oh, yeah. San Francisco Mo- uh, Museum of Modern Art. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it's an artist, JR, he's from France. He was uh, a graffiti guy. He used to like tag things and stuff like that. He came up with the concept of chronicling San Francisco and the people of the city that are involved in everything from politics, uh, uh, roller skating, uh, all the different quirky people, uh, actually a total of 1,200 people. Wow. And so they contacted me about it. And, you know, I got my friends together. We went and uh, shot it in a green screen. And right. when we went to the opening the other night, I was just taken back by, how could you recognize somebody in that crowd? It's uh, huge. Apparently it's huge. It's like two or three stories high and enormous. And there's... I mean, I saw a clip of it on Facebook, so there's just, you know, hundreds of people appearing. And I imagine the skaters, you know, they 
skating looks very ethereal when it's... Well, what they did was each individual in there, they took and they videotaped them. And they all did something. And then they took each individual image and they put it into one collage of the spirit of San Francisco. All those people, they had Draymond Green, they have a Willie Brown, they have all the, the mayors, the, the Tamale lady. I mean, these are people in San Francisco that we all know and love. That so makes these are iconic, special. iconic yeah. San Francisco people, which of course you are very much. The Godfather was included. Fantastic. That's my second girl. That is wonderful. So finally, do you have like a, a signature favorite skate move? Well, you I'm love known doing. for doing the coffin. The coffin is my the coffin. signature move. All right. But I, I love spins as well. Spins. Two foot, one foot. What's your what's your uh, spin? Two foot, but with speed and raise a hand. At two foot, are you uh, toto or toe yeah, heel? Toe -toe. Toe -toe. Yeah, toe toe. That's the difference between quaddies and inliners. Quaddies do toe toe spins. Inliners do heel toe. Well, I do them both. Uh, yeah, it depends on you know what you're trying to do. For me. I, um, I don't do much line dancing. I don't like to do. Uh -huh. I don't want my mood to depend on what they do. Okay. That's a little thing about me. But, you know, I, when we were involved in the Red Bull Great Skate, my, my daughter was the first national champion for women. She was like 12. My wow. son, David, uh, he came in seventh overall in men. He was on seven years old. Uh, we won second in the group competition. We perform and we do this. When we do our 40th anniversary, we're doing the San Francisco Skater Showcase. And all this, it's not a competition. All the skaters will put together their routines, they will you know, do their thing. I got a whole routine I'm working on. Oh, I'm so um, excited. It will be a signature on this whole 40 year thing. Wow. But we got a plan for the 50 year thing. Um, wow. It's like, there's so much going on. It's, it's, we started out as a skate patrol. So we're trained in first aid and CPR. Yes. And now we're basically the authority of roller skating to the city to the record park. If they need to do something, they need to build something, they need to spend money on something, we're encouraging them. And we want it to be an example for every city because yes. every city's got a swimming pool, they have basketball courts, uh, baseball diamonds. Every city should have a spot in the park yes. where you can go and skate. Yes. It should be free, yes. it should be fun, inclusive. This is our life. Yep. And this is, this is all I have to do. This is, when I get up in the morning, I don't have to punch a clock. I come exactly. here and do a party for Google or, you know, maybe just skate around with my granddaughter. It's, 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 I'm the luckiest person who never won the lottery. Because if I did win the lottery, I'd buy a church and I'd turn it into a roller skating ring. Oh. And, you know, we, we party, have a good I time. I love that's that. What, I love that's what that. it's all about. Fantastic. Well, you're an absolute inspiration to me and an absolute legend in the skate world. And just check out this church. I mean, I am so proud of you. And it's just so incredibly beautiful. And look at the stained glass windows. It's a proper, proper church. So I'm about to start skating and partying here all evening. So if you ever come to San Francisco, make sure you come Friday, Saturday nights to the Church of Eight Wheels. There's only one in the world, and this is it. Bye-bye.